हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल आई एम कौस्तुभ शर्मा एन ई डब्ल्यू एस सर्टिफाइड डेवलपर एंड सोल्यूशन आर्किटेक्ट टूडेज वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी स्पेशल एज टूडे माई एक्स कलीग एंड फ्रेंड ज्योति इज ज्वाइनिंग दिस हाई कौस्तुभ हाई एवरी वन हाई ज्योति सो एज इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव इंस्टॉल द वी एस कोड दैट इज विजुअल स्टूडियो कोड सो वी विल डू द वर्किंग फ्रॉम देयर as i told in the previous video itself that it already have the inbuilt command prompt uh, attached to it inbuilt terminal attached to it so it will be very easy if you work through the vs code we also installed the extension of hashicorp terraform in the previous video so we can start from there so instead of going through the there what we can do let me go to my documents folder and what i will do i will create a new folder so the for the creation of new folder there is a keyboard shortcut uh, control shift n so it will automatically create a new folder i will name it as terraform and uh, i am creating this folder so that i can put all my terraform files in a, this single folder so now i will do this is a context menu when you right click on the screen so here you can see visual studio link is there so what this will do it will directly open this directory there that is inside the terraform folder so just click on this yes i trust the authors so here you can see we are in the terraform folder so let me start with the new file so here is a icon for the creation of new file so just click on there and let me name it as main.tf so you can see it automatically detect it icon as terraform uh, you can see this icon so that visual studio code automatically detect that is a terraform file when you put the dot uh, .tf extension so dot tf is extension for the terraform file so now uh, you can go to search bar and search for terraform registry and search for it so terraform registry is an official website of terraform where they have put the all providers and modules uh, which we can use for our creation of infrastructure so what are the providers and modules uh, let me uh, just let it open and i will explain so i hope the installation of terraform was easy and understandable and you understand why we are doing why we are adding that to the path variable right yes everything is clear yeah yeah so this is an official website of terraform registry uh, so here you can see two options are there browse providers and browse module so first we will see what are the providers here so as discussed in the previous videos uh, terraform is a tool we use for provisioning maintaining and versioning the infrastructure safely and efficiently so using this providers terraform can actually work with the existing and the popular service providers like aws gcp azure as well as custom in now solution which has been developed by hashicorp itself so a terraform provider what it is actually doing it is basically responsible for understanding the api interactions or the exposing resources of these cloud service providers so you just click on this browse providers so here you can see there are multiple cloud providers available so these providers are what and they are just the abstraction of the api so if we uh, just now i want to create an infrastructure on aws then i will use this provider if i want to create infrastructure on azure then i will use this or you want to go on any of the gcp kubernetes or alibaba so there are multiple thousands of providers okay. which you can use of okay so currently we are using the aws one so let me select that just click on it and uh, here you can see a big blue button at the right hand side so just click on this use provider so here you can see there is a code given here so just copy this code and paste it here in the main.tf okay so i will explain you this code what it is okay 
so it is saying that it is a terraform block and uh, here we require these providers uh, just in our case we have written aws and uh, its source uh, means you, uh, the terraform can download it from this path hashicorp slash aws which is a hashicorp marketplace uh, from where it can download aws provider and uh, here is the version specify 4.8.0 so this is a provider version not a terraform version which we have discussed earlier and also to make this provider available on terraform we have to do two things one is to mention this in the terraform file and second is that we need to execute a terraform init command so what terraform init command do it will initialize the terraform and download the any plugins which we needed for our provider also if the plugin is already installed then terraform init command will not download the plugin again unless uh, if you want to upgrade the version then you can run the command uh, terraform init uh, with the flag of upgrade uh, you can also optionally define the multiple configuration for the same providers and uh, select uh, which one to use as per your resource or as per your module basis you can define like this which uh, the code is shown on your screen also in the terraform blog you can uh, put a required version settings uh, which uh, you can use to constrain which version of terraform cli can be used uh, with your configuration okay uh, so if the running version of terraform does not match the constraint uh, or the condition which you specified then terraform will produce an error and exit without taking any of the further action the value of the required version should be an string containing a comma separated list of constraints each constraint is an operator followed by the version number uh, such as here in our example we have put greater than equal to 0 0.12 uh, terraform change drastically after this version so generally we put like this but you can put any of the conditions or any of the constraints here like equal to to get the exact version which you are specifying or uh, means uh, whatever we generally put a uh, like exclamation mark equal to which is version not equals to greater than greater than equal to so you can put any of the conditions and uh, if you want to check the terraform version uh, as i already show you can execute the command terraform version simply and it will show you that which version of terraform you are using currently and here uh, in the provider aws section uh, we have to provide our access key and secret access key basically our credentials to log into that aws account okay uh, 